Hello, we have seen, how PLC analog input output can be used. In this video, we're going to do another project with factory I.O. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content, I have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel, which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI and microcontroller based developments. My name is Syed Reza, and if you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell, to receive the latest and the greatest content, I will be posting through the channel. Alright, this is the tank, which has been used before. Here are a potentiometer, which give us a voltage between minus 5 to 5 volt, and a electrical valve, which can be controlled with a voltage between 0 to 10 volt. Also, the tank has a level meter, which give us a voltage up to 10 volt, when the liquid level is 3 meter. Finally, this is a digital displayer, which get and display integer numbers. All these devices, are analog type. In this project, we'll see how the potentiometer can send its voltage to PLC, and convert that to a voltage between 0 to 10 volt to control the fill valve. And also we'll see, how the PLC can get the level meter voltage and show the liquid level on the digital displayer. First, let's design the plant on the factory I.O. Insert a tank, and chick is in analog type. Here is the fill valve which work with a voltage between 0 to 10 volt. This level meter measures the liquid level. When the liquid level is 3 meter, the level meter get 10 volt. Now, we need a control box. As you know, to vertical translation, press the V key, on the keyboard. Now, insert a potentiometer and a digital displayer. Well, we can change the potentiometer voltage range. Select the third range, minus 5 to 5 volt. Let's modify its name. Now, right click on the digital displayer. As you see, it can be used to show two voltage ranges, or an integer number. Here, select the integer type. Now let's modify its name. Now, let's click on File menu, and select Drivers to set PLC connection. We're going to use Siemens S7 PLC SIM. Naturally, we don't need these digital input output. 
Click here to configure PLC. Let's select word type for PLC analog input output. Here, at the first column, we determine start addresses, and at the second column, we select how many input or output we need. Let's write zero here. Because we don't need any digital input output. Finally, we need two analog inputs and two analog outputs, and define number 10 for their start addresses. So, we need a PLC with two analog inputs outputs. Now, let's connect the potentiometer and level sensor to the PLC inputs. Here, two IW10 and IW12 addresses are used for these analog inputs. At the output part, let's use the fill valve and the digital displayer. We have completed our plant with factory I.O. Now let's configure desired PLC on TIA software. Let's insert an analog input module. Let's change start addresses of the inserted module. Here, I define 10 like my PLC settings on the factory I.O. As you see, now, we have four analog inputs, which the plant needs inputs with IW10 and IW12 addresses. Similarly, let's insert an analog output module and modify its address. Alright, let's define suitable tags for analog inputs outputs. As you see, this tag is used for potentiometer, which is connected to PLC input, with IW10 address. Similarly, let's define a suitable tag, for the next analog input. Now, we must determine input module signals types. The first input signal is from the potentiometer. If you remember, the potentiometer voltage is minus 5 to 5 volt, and the level meter voltage is 0 to 10. The first analog output, the fill valve, is controlled by a voltage between 0 to 10.
the last output is used to send an integer number, directly to digital display or in the factory I.O. That doesn't need to determine its voltage range. Now, let's complete the PLC tags table. Now, let me explain the PLC program. The main instructions are norm and scale. First, the potentiometer sends a voltage from minus 5 to 5 volt to the first analog input. Based on the S7-1200 manual and this table, if the received voltage is in its rated range, we'll have number minus 27648 to 27648. Then, the norm instruction convert received number from analog input address to a number between 0 and 1. After that, the first scale instruction converts that to a number between minus 5 to 5, which represents the voltage at the PLC input. The second scale instruction converted to a number from 0 to 27648. This number will send to the first analog output. So, based on the S7-1200 manual, the analog output module will generate a voltage 0 to 10 volt, to close or open the fill valve. Alright, this is my PLC program. Similarly, a norm and scale instructions are used to convert the level sensor signal to a number between 0 and 300, which represents the liquid level on the digital displayer. Let's transfer this program to a virtual PLC. Now, let's connect factory I.O. to the virtual PLC. Well, let's test the PLC program with this tank. Let's select the fill valve and this potentiometer. As you see, when the potentiometer has 0, middle of minus 5 and 5 volt, then the fill valve has 5 volt, which is in the middle of 0 and 10. If we change potentiometer to minus 5 volt, the fill valve voltage will be closed. Pay attention. It seem here is a problem. The fill valve is switching between two values. As you see, also, at the PLC program, analog values are switching between two values, why? See this configured hardware. Because of my simulation, CPU reads its analog inputs, from inserted module and factory I.O.
so the CPU reads its analog inputs from two places. We want to use factory I.O. So, to solve the problem, let's delete these module. Then the CPU will use only factory I.O. values. Now, let's transfer the modified PLC hardware. As you see, at this time, I can change the fill valve voltage, with the potentiometer, without any problem. Also the digital displayer, shows the liquid level. Again let's change the potentiometer voltage from here. Well, we must exit from forced state. Alright, as you see, I can control the fill valve with this potentiometer. Similarly, I can connect factory I.O. to my PLC, and test the program with the real potentiometer. I've connected the analog output to this voltmeter, to show its voltage. As you see, based on my program, I can use the connected potentiometer, to chain the analog output voltage, and also control its connected filling valve. Now, let me close the filling valve. I hope, you have learned how we can use analog signals, in industrial processes. Alright, until now, we have explained basic instructions and some abilities of TIA software, to program a PLC. Also we have seen, how a PLC connect to computers or electrical instruments. Today's, HMI devices are used to visualize industrial process beside PLC. In next videos, we'll learn, how TIA software can configure and program a HMI interface. Thanks for watching my content, if you have any question on this topic make sure you leave them in the comment section below, and if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video, if you enjoyed it, that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.